Hi you guys! My name is Tori Peeps and welcome to my channel. Today I will be telling you guys how I went to school in Tokyo. You guys probably know me from TikTok. I do a ton of Japan content on there. And if you're not already following me, here is my tag. It is Tori Peeves spelled exactly like it is here. Oh, but first off, I do want to apologize. This video has been long overdue. EF reached out to me and we've been working on a few things together. Not to mention a discount code that you guys will be getting off of your tuition. I will mention it at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned for all that information. So if you guys are interested in knowing how I went to school in Tokyo, keep on watching. Now I've got a long list, so let's just get right into it. Let's do this. Okay, first off, what company did I go with? I went with EF, also known as Education First. This is a travel company for people of all ages. I have used this company to travel all over the world and I love them. I have made so many special memories through them and I cannot recommend them enough. Now EF offers many different travel experiences. You can do bus tours, you can travel with your university. The program that I did was a bit more independent. I didn't go through my school or anything. I actually had already graduated from college. So the specific school that I went to is this one right here. It is called EF International Language School based in Tokyo. I had always been interested in learning Japanese, so I went to the school specifically to learn Japanese to help my English as a second language job. So this school is specifically for teaching you Japanese as a second language. Many people in my TikToks asked me if you learned like English, math, uh, history. You kind of don't. You just learn Japanese as a second language and you'll also pick up culture and a bit of history. Um, yeah, but mostly the Japanese language. Also, keep in mind that this school is an international school, so the students are from literally everywhere in the world. When I first went, I was expecting a lot of people from the US like me, uh, but that wasn't the case. When I first went, it was mostly European students. And then later on, more Americans started coming and coming. Now I understand that this can sound like a limited like friendship potential possibilities situation like you're not going to make many friends because you know they're from Europe how are they going to understand you Here's the thing we had to have one common language that the teachers can teach in the students can interact with each other in and that is English So as long as you know English you're good and you will be shocked how many friends you can make in this environment one of my best friends that I made on the trip was from Toulouse, France, and her English wasn't that great, and my French is not that great, um, but we just could not stop laughing whenever we were together. So next, requirements. A lot of you guys asked me about requirements. You don't really have to have a certain grade point average. You don't really have to be, uh, you know, in high school. You don't have to be in college. Um, as long as you are healthy and able to travel, uh, you're good, you can come. And I know what you're thinking, so like what ages are the students? The students are all different ages. When I went, I was 24, and there were students who were 16, 52, and I even met a woman in her 60s. As long as you're 16 or older, you can come to the school. As for the majority of the students, I think they were about 18 to 20 years old. And here's the great thing about people from being different countries and ages and cultures. You will find the most interesting people here. And you will find that you can make friends so easily with people that you weren't expecting. I mean, I made a wonderful friend who was 16 years old from Switzerland. And then I made really close friends with this elderly woman from Texas. And even though the age requirements are normally 16 years old and up, there is a 13 and up group coming to Japan this summer of 2021. It'll be a bit more monitored. It will be an adult on the airplane with you. So it'll be a lot more appropriate for kids of younger ages. Now for your level in Japanese, do you need to be a certain level to come to the school? Nope. You can come to Japan and no zilch. And trust me, you'll get around okay. Now as for pricing, you guys asked me so much about pricing, so it, it's different for every single person. I can't give you like a determined number, I can't. There are so many different determining factors. For example, you can come to the school whenever you want. You can stay at the school for however long you want. You can decide if you wanna be at the dorms. If you stay with a host family, those are different numbers. What classes you take. It just makes the price different for everybody. So I'm sorry, I just can't tell you an exact price. Now I mentioned your homestay. Do you stay in dorms or with a host family? I stayed with a host family and personally, I loved it. I can't recommend it enough. 
You get traditional Japanese food. You get to speak Japanese with your host parents all day. If they have a dog. My host family had a dog and it was so cute. It just gives you a more authentic experience, I feel like. But you can also stay in the dorms and the dorms are super close to campus. You usually have a roommate. And I heard my friends had a lot of fun there too. Okay. Um, so any additional fees? Um, so yeah, you pay for your tuition up front. So any other major expenses would be like your transportation. Uh, the train can kind of add up sometimes, especially if you get lost inside the train station, you don't know where you're going and you're going in and out of gates and you're really adding up your monies. Food in Japan is not expensive at all. Uh, you can eat at convenience stores like for every single meal and I promise you it'll be delicious and very, very cheap. I think I paid a little bit more than a dollar for my lunches every single day. Get the egg salad sandwiches, they are. Okay, Okay. so now I'm gonna answer specific questions from you guys on my TikTok page. So Luna7Moon5 asked, do you need any prior knowledge? Okay, I already kind of answered this one. No, you don't need any prior knowledge. You can come to Japan being as dumb as dirt. I mean, I did it. Okay, you can be totally at a base level Japanese and you're totally fine. And I noticed that those students who have like no knowledge of Japanese, that they really improved very quickly. Zephy R536 asked, did they pick you up from the airport? So yes. So when you land at the airport, you're gonna go get your luggage and then you go to the front of the airport. You know, where there's all the rental cars, restaurants, and then there will be dudes holding signs like this. And it'll say your name right here and you'll go up and you'll be like, hey, what's up? And they'll be like, let's go girl. He will take your luggage, show you to the car and he will drive you either to the dorms or your host family. Summer T242, when you study in language, do they speak in Japanese or teach it to you? And did you learn Japanese before going? I think she's asking what language do you use in class when you're learning Japanese? So if you're at the very, very, very basics of Japanese, they're gonna use way more English. But if you're gonna be more on like an intermediate level like I was, they only use Japanese. And if they hear English, they'll be like, mm, stop. Nihongo, Nihongo. And did you learn Japanese before going? So I personally did learn Japanese before going. I started learning Japanese when I was 12 years old. So yes, I did have some prior knowledge before going to Japan. Katarina LLP says, hey, hey girl. Even if you stay in the dorm, will you be able to meet some locals? So this is kind of why I like the host family better because you will always have an authentic experience. However, the school hosts something called language cafes where Japanese high school and university students will come over to the school and we have like beverages and snacks and we just hang out and talk to each other and you can easily make Japanese friends that way. But yeah, either way, you still have the opportunity to make Japanese friends. This next one is Eva, 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 Ava, Ava, Eva, Ava, Ava, Ava said, could you please explain how you had to sign up? So how I signed up, and this is the easiest way to do it, is I went on the website and I will have it linked down in the description for you guys. And I booked an appointment with an EF travel agent. And this guy could not have been more helpful or more like chill. Didn't really feel intimidating. Didn't feel like I was being pressured. He asked me questions like, are my parents supportive of it? How long have I wanted to do this? What made me fall in love with Japan? He really helped me prepare mentally <laughs> especially with like the emotions that you're gonna go through when you go and stay and study in a school in japan for a long period of time so again i just can't recommend ef enough because in my experience they have been very supportive and thoughtful of me okay and you guys also asked me a lot of other information that was a little bit out of my area so i cannot recommend enough calling them up making an appointment however feel free to comment if you have any questions about my personal experience in japan and now it's time for the discount, you guys can get 10% off of your tuition with code TORI10. And I know we're kind of in a pandemic right now. And unfortunately, Americans aren't allowed back in Japan yet. But once things settle down and border restrictions are lifted, I am planning on coming back to campus. I will be visiting you guys and hanging out for a little bit. And I am praying that that will be able to happen in spring. But we don't really know what's gonna happen. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if things got more pushed back. I'll make sure to keep you guys up to date, and if you would love to see more Japan content, make sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. You guys know that I'm very personal with you guys. I answer DMs every single day. 
So please feel free to comment, ask me any questions, or if you just wanna be like, hey, what's up? I'll be like, what's good? Anyways, I love you guys so, so much, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.